wake up to a winter wonderland this morning. Doesn't our blue spruce look gorgeous back there with the snow? Yay, I love snow, at least at this time of year. <laughs> Good morning everyone happy vlogmas day 16 um okay it is like 9 30 in the morning i am i think i've mentioned that i've got quite a bit of filming i need to do uh today and then also tomorrow because i'm starting the um lisette sew along so uh which is b the uh, 6382 no is that it <laughs> i don't know why those numbers are not sticking in my head but they're not um, but yes, the Lisette coat, um, whatever those numbers are, I will leave it listed down below. <laughs> it doesn't, okay, I can't, I'm not going to be able to remember. I'm just going to get it very confused. Um, anyway, I, so I have a lot of filming to do today. Number one for um, my video that goes up on Friday this week. And then also starting that sew along. So that is what I've got going on today. I also have a doctor's appointment at 1030. So I'll need to leave here in about 45 minutes. So I was just going to see if I could squeeze in at least part of the filming, the actual me talking part of the filming for Friday, and then the twirls I can film when I get home. So that is kind of what I'm thinking of doing. Uh, we got some snow last night, as I just showed you. We've got about two and a half inches on the ground now. Um, they're calling for another probably inch. Uh, she, the weather girl, thought that um, our area would probably see about four inches when all is said and done. Um, it's kind of, it's not snowing as heavy right now. Um, but I think it's supposed to be on and off all the rest of today with it finally finishing up around five tonight. So um, that's exciting. <laughs> Although I think the roads are all, you know, the first snow of the year, the roads are always... Um, nice and cleaned off because they've got all their salt for the winter and all that kind of stuff. So even my neighborhood roads don't look all that bad now. Um, <clears throat> and the plow has been through a couple of times, so everything's, um, looking good. So I think getting to my doctor's appointment should be fine. Um, the kids are at school today. I do need to do a little bit of wrapping. Although to be honest, the wrapping, I really just need to get my immediate family's wrapping done or I wanted to, uh, but I'm still waiting on three things for my daughter three small things for my daughter to arrive that have been shipped. Um, all of my son's stuff is here. And I'm also trying to decide if I'm going to have time to sew for them. <laughs> you know, if I want to wrap up those pajamas, they know they're getting them, but um, I might want to just wrap those up. And then maybe one, yeah, I talked about the bow ties for my daughter, making her a couple. I still need to find a good pattern. Um, I may look at that later today. Anyway, my son has a jazz band concert tonight, which um, obviously no one can go to. They'll just be filming it, but I'm in charge of picking everybody up afterwards. So I'll have that to do tonight. Um, really, that's it. So I, I'm, yeah, I just need to film today. So I've got my doctor's appointment and then I'm home the rest of the evening other than going to pick him up. Um, and I can just sit down here and do some filming. So, um, yeah, I think that's all I've got for right now. I just wanted to check in. Um, hi, madam. I have a puppy that's come down to say hi. Okay. Come here. <coughs> oh, Gidget says good morning. Oh, Gidget says good morning. <laughs> um, my little buddy. Oh, my little buddy. So anyway, that's what's on the docket today. Maybe some Christmas present wrapping. I guess I could go ahead and finish wrapping my son's stuff. Um... I'm just trying to decide if I'm, there's, he's getting two shirts for Christmas and I'm trying to decide if I'm going to wrap those together or separately because <laughs> I think with them having the same number of presents is more important than um, money, how much that, you know, we've been, and we don't spend a ton on them for Christmas. Most of the stuff they're getting is stuff they needed. <laughs> you know, like socks. They're getting socks in their stocking. Oh, excuse me. Uh, cause they both need new socks. So, um, yeah, there you go. Um, that's how we roll here. Okay. That's all I've got for now. I am going to say goodbye for the moment and I will check back in later. Okay, guys, I just got some really happy mail that I wanted to share with you. <clears throat> and I think I've also done filming for the day. I've hit a little bit of a wall. <laughs> I've just... I'm just really tired and I think on the verge of like burnout and I don't, I don't want to hit there. And I was just at my doctor this morning and he was strong. We were talking about 
listening to our bodies and when to tell we were getting close to that burnout mark and that what we needed to do when we got close to that burnout mark. Um, so I think I'm going, I want to show you guys all this and then I think I'm going to go up and sit in the bathtub for a little bit um, and just relax. And then I think my back is killing me right now. Um, so I'm hoping a bath will help. And then I think I'm going to just lay on the couch for a little bit, maybe even take a short nap. Um, anyway, it's, we're just getting too close to Christmas. I can't let myself burn out, but I just got a Minerva package on my porch and it was gi two gigantic and it was so exciting to open up. So I have two different, um, groupings to show you here. One is, um, I'm part of the Minerva makers team, which I get gifted, um, fabric in exchange for a post on their new website. Um, and before that it was on their blog, but now they've got this new fantastic website. And so I have, um, which is what the crepe de chine and then the, um, um, green wool, the bottle green wool that I showed you the other day is both for the Minerva makers, um, for them as well. And so I'm going to be making up so now I have four fabrics that need to be made up for the Minerva Maker because I just got two more, but I wanted to show you what I got. Okay, the first one is this pleather. Now, I put this on a roll. It came folded up, but as you know with pleather, like it's got, it was super cold, obviously, because it's been, you know, traveling from the UK, but it's got some folds in it right now. So I let it kind of relax for about an hour just to warm up and get back to room temperature. And then I, I had this extra roll that I put it on, but it is, I hope the color comes across. This is, it's called spice orange is the color. It is such a good color. Um, I think it's Lady McElroy to be honest. Um, it's a pleather. It is not stretchy and it's a little bit heavier weight. So it's not as pliable as that, um, pleather that I'm going to be using that's sitting in the pile over there. So I think that this definitely needs to be, um, a jacket. I have three meters of it. I just need to decide. I kind of want something kind of dramatic out of it. I'm feeling very dramatic. We're going to talk about this one right next to me too here in just a second, which is also going to be dramatic. <laughs> what do you guys think? What should I make with it? What, what coat and jacket? I mean, this is all coats. I have four coats sitting here um, in this fabric. But yeah, let me know. Um, you guys had some great suggestions on the, the crepe de chine blouse, which by the way, it's this fabric that I'm talking about. It's this brown sepia colored, um, with the jewels and stuff on it. This is going to be a pussy bow blouse. I've decided a lot of people suggested that. I'm like, of course, that's definitely what it needs to be with a really big statement sleeve. So I'm actually, there's, I have a Vogue pattern. Um, it's like one of their classic, like pussy bow blouse patterns. I can't remember the number of name off the top of my head, but I'm going to, play around with that and make one of these. And I'm actually thinking of doing like one pattern, three ways type video. Let me know if that sounds like something that'd be interesting, um, where I'm just going to take a pattern and then kind of hack it and play around with it and make three, um, you know, very different garments out of the one pattern by mixing up fabrication as well as doing some, um, twists and stuff to the pattern, you know, using different variations, but then also maybe doing some hacks and that stuff. So let me know if that sounds like something interest of interest to you. Cause I think that blouse pattern might be a good one to uh, play around with. But anyway, here's the pleather. It's beautiful. I need some sort of coat. Okay. I'm just going to set that there. All right. And then this was the second fabric. This is also, a, I know that this one definitely is Lady McElroy. Lady McElroy. Oh my gosh. Look at this. It's a wool blend coating. Look at that gigantic hound's tooth. Oh, isn't it fantastic? So this is like a rust color, this hound's tooth. And this is 100%. I think I have three meters of this too. Yes, I have three meters of this too because I know when to do a coat. I'm 100% doing. Um, I'm going to join Gertie's Patreon. Um, if I can, I do that today while I'm on the couch. Um, I want to join her Patreon because I want to do, I really want that swing coat pattern that she did. Um, I loved the, like the full length one. I say full length, it was like T length, but I want to do, I don't think, I think I would need more than three meters of fabric for that, even with my short stature. Um, but I could definitely get the cropped one, not cropped. It was like high hip probably, which looked so cute. Oh, oh my, it had like, oh my gosh. I, yes. 
Yes, that's what this is going to become. Um, and I think I've got some lining in my stash that I can make work for this, but I cannot wait for this one. Now, these will all be after um, the new year, once Christmas is um, come and gone. This one, the, pa the package was ripped a little bit, which makes me nervous, but I don't see anything wrong with the fabric. Um, it was this one in the pleather. Everything seems to be okay, so anyway. Oh, it's just so good. I'm so excited about this. Okay, you got it. Gidget has decided to lay on the fabric back there. I don't know. Can you see her? Maybe she's, I think she's down too low. I think that's just fabric. She's laying here on the couch. Okay, and then Black Friday. I ordered <clears throat> two cuts of um, wool. Oh, well, they're both wool blends, actually to do some, two of the Sew the Looks um, for the video that I did. Well, one is for that video that I did on um, the street style looks that I wanted to recreate. And then the other one was just when I did the um, winter coats to sew um, and patterns to go with them <clears throat> video. The other one is from that and I'm gonna recreate both of these and then do, you know, like Sew the Look type videos with them. So the first one, just cause it's on top, is this. <laughs> It's a wool blend, um, and I think it's it's almost half half poly and wool. But it was I grabbed it for the um, color, obviously. Uh, so this is how much did I buy? Three meters. So I paid for this. I bought this on their Black Friday sale. So I bought three meters. This is purple and um, kind of a corally orange kind of color. It's orange. I'd call it orange. It's not as bright as my sweater, but it, it's still orange. And then the background is almost, um, so it's purple. This is purple. And the background is almost, I, w I don't think it's black. I think it's almost like an egg, like a dark purple, like a dark eggplant. This came in a few different colorways. And I think this was just the orange, does it say on this? Just the orange and purple one. Purple and rust is the colorway on this one. But I am going to make this coat out of it. Um, I want to recreate the whole outfit, actually. Um, I think, actually, I'm wearing my um, Liana stretch jeans today that I've done into the straight legs, which I think could definitely work as those jeans, or, yeah, as the jeans for that look. Um, I like the idea of a darker denim blouse to be worn um, with it, and then the show-stopping coat. Now, obviously, this isn't identical to what the, um, there's a boo-boo in the fabric there. Um, isn't identical to what the um, inspiration post is, but this was like when I was searching. I love when I'm searching for like a specific fabric, I must always go to Minerva just because they have such a huge selection and I can usually find it. Now, since ordering this, Mimi G and Brittany J. Jones, their melanated fabrics, they just released a whole bunch of really bright plaid wool blend coatings um, that would totally work for this jacket as well. Um, but I just thought, I don't know, there was just something about it that that this made sense. And then I bought um, a lining fabric. And I can't remember why I went with this color, to be honest. This is coral. I mean, it's kind of, I don't know, it may be fine. Cause this is kind of a, this rust kind of has a little bit of pink in there. So I may just go ahead and line it. I mean, it's the inside of the coat. I don't really care that much. I think this is Lady McElroy too, McElroy too to be honest. Um, but I'm going to use, yeah, I've got three meters of this and I'm going to use, um, make the bamboo coat from Waffle Patterns, the original, just the regular one out of this. And now I'm trying to remember why I got three meters of this lining and only two and a half of this one, because it's the same coat. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. This one is going to be, um, yeah, there's my first bamboo coat. And then, and again, I paid for all of this. This is, this was not gifted. This is all me. And then I also found this wool blend coating. And I bought 2.5 meters of this. And this is pretty thin. Got some fluff on it, but I found my bright orange coating. Um, I think I'm gonna interline this one with uh, flannel. 
So, um, but I'm going to do the bamboo coat in this one as well. This one's pretty, pretty close to my shirt. Um, I'm going to do the bamboo coat in this one as well, but do it with the um, stand up collar add on. Um, and I think that there's, no, there's not. Let's see, is there a zipper on that one? I think it's just a button. It's the same as the bamboo coat. But anyway, it has the stand up collar, and I'm going to recreate um, this. I think it's J. Crew. Is it J. Crew? I think it was J. Crew jacket. But I'm going to recreate that jacket with this fabric. Um, this was a very inexpensive wool blend. It is not fancy by any stretch. Um, but, you know, it's a bright orange coat. So <laughs> I just kind of wanted to play around. But yeah, it was their Black Friday. Uh, this other coating, this was not expensive either. Um, they were both very um, inexpensive coatings because they're a wool blend. But um, yes, I'm going to interline this one and maybe this one too. I might, I mean, because this is a little bit more of an open weave, I might interline both of them in some flannel um, just to make them a little bit warmer. But I got this and then I got the same lining fabric and this is in a decade blue just because I thought that was a fun pop of color on the inside for the orange coat. Um, yeah, and I think it's, I think that this is Lady McElroy lining. It's acetate lining, I believe. Yeah, it may be a rayon. It may be a rayon. I don't remember. <laughs> I'll leave them linked below, though. I'll link all of it, and even the stuff that I got for the Minerva makers, I'll link that all below. But yes, so there we have it. That's four different coats. I mean, I have the linings here for these two that I bought, but I will um, have to furnish the lining for the other two for the Minerva makers. So anyway, that is what arrived on my doorstep today, which was, oh my gosh, this is totally rayon because it's doing that sticking to everything. <laughs> so yeah, there we have it. I had a very exciting meal date today. So um, I just wanted to share that with you all. Um, and yeah, I'm going to go take a bath. I'm going to go soak in the bath. I'm going to take my makeup off. And uh, I do have to go pick up my son at 515 and uh, two of his friends. But um, I'm just going to relax the rest of the afternoon. I have a ton of sew along filming I need to do. But um, tomorrow is an at-home blue day. Let's see. But tomorrow I have to take my daughter to get braces on her teeth. And then she has tutoring. And then she has art tomorrow night. But that is it. That's all we have going on so everything else can be I can set up everything to film and um and tomorrow's a hair washing day so I can get really good hair tomorrow <laughs> and just get that work on that um sew along because I need to do some actual you know the first video of every sew along series is me talking to the camera about the supplies and fabric um and then we're gonna go I did a muslin fitting on my sister so we'll go and uh, cut to that and then I'll show you some of the um adjustments I'm making to the pattern for her, which aren't a lot, just a couple. Um, the pattern has a very narrow sleeve, so we are widening the sleeve a little bit. Um, and then she has a wide back like I do. <laughs> I have narrow shoulders and a wide back. She just has, um, she doesn't have broad shoulders, but she's broader shoulders with a broader back. Um, but anyway, I'm going to um, have to be in front of the camera for a little bit tomorrow. The rest of the sew along I can film and look like crap because... <laughs> I can do the intro videos later. Um, but yeah, for the first week's videos, I'm in front of the camera a lot. And I can't cut into the fabric until I've shown you guys all the fabric and all that jazz. So anyway, that's what we have going on tomorrow. So I'm just going to call it for today. And then I can work on that on Thursday and Friday and maybe a little bit on Saturday. Um, yeah, I need to wrap a couple presents today too. I may wait though. Because, I, I, yeah, I really want the rest of the my daughter's gifts to arrive before I do any more wrapping. I could do some wrapping on Friday, maybe. At least finish their stuff. <laughs> and then wrap the rest of it next week, um, you know, for the my extended family. Okay, I'm going to call it for right now. I will um, come back to do the wine advent calendar and talk to you a little bit later.
Okay guys, here I am back again. Freshly, or not freshly scrub face, but I did take off all my makeup. Um, tonight's wine is a Moulinet Red Blend Grenache Syrah product of France. So let's read this one. Sourced from some of the best vineyards of Southern France, Moulinet manages to take, I think I'm saying that right, <laughs> manages to take influence from all of them. And in an inventive blend that is like no other. Equal parts fruity and savory on the palate, Moulinet features a complex interplay of blackberry and plum notes, as well as white pepper and currant leaf. So that sounds kind of good. I may have to try a little bit of that tonight. We're having spaghetti, so that might be kind of yummy with that. Um, okay, so I did not get my nap in today, which is fine. I didn't really think I would. Um, I did take a nice long bath, though. My back is feeling better. Scrub my face. Um, got Friday's video all edited and uploaded, so that's good. Oh, hold on, let me get the dog. <laughs> Someone commented, you know, that it seems like Gidget every time, you know, I'm doing these wine things is always trying to get out, to go out. And yes, she presses her little nose against the crack in the door. I guess she can sniff just a little bit. She does it to the front door, too, if we're standing around the front door smelling the outdoors, I guess, and then just wants to go outside or she'll be barking at a dog she hears outside because it's dark now, so she can't see anything, but she can hear things. Um, anyway, it's just in and out, in and out because it's really cold and it's actively snowing at the moment. And yeah, it's in the 20s. So she doesn't really want to be out there. She goes out there for like a minute, even when she goes out to go to the bathroom. It's like out, pee, back in. <laughs> and then she forgets. That it's miserable out there and that she doesn't actually want to go out and sniff around. She, yeah, anyway, catch it. Um, so I um, picked up my son. We are done with the day. So I did get some of my to-do list done today. So I think tomorrow I do have a few, making sure my pasta is not boiling over. <laughs> I do have a few um, errands that need to be run. But other than that, we're going to be working on the um, <clears throat> sew along for the better coat. So I may show you some sneak peeks um, in Vlogmas as we go about doing that. Okay, guys, that is all I have for today. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday and I will see you all when you're watching this on Thursday. So <laughs> I'll see you all tomorrow though. Bye.